Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to look at perfectly competitive firm and what they're calling an imperfectly competitive firm, which is really just a some, so firm with some sort of monopoly, right? Either monopolistically competitive where there's low barriers to entry or monopoly where there's high barriers to entry and the competition just isn't there. So uh, we're going to fill in uh, both of these tables. We've got price and quantity demanded, price and quantity demanded. This is what makes it different. You can see the price change over here will change quantity and the price change over here will not change um, or rather quantity change won't won't come as a result of the price change so formulas we need to know for this would be total revenue so we'll zoom in here and our total revenue formula is uh, price times quantity and that's going to be the same for both both of these, put that over there too. Okay, so zero times 12 is zero. 12 times one is 12. 24, 36, 48. And you can see it's just going up by 12 each time because that's the price. 72. Okay, so marginal revenue is the difference between uh, total revenue divided by the difference in quantity. So really the formula is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Now in this problem, if you look at it, the change in quantity is just going to be 1. Um, so I don't really have to divide by anything. I'm just dividing by one. So we don't have to worry about that. So there is no marginal revenue for this because zero to uh, negative one to zero isn't, doesn't exist in economics. So we're really just looking at uh, the quantity change from zero to one gives us an increase in revenue of 12. So that would be 12. Then the change from 12 to 24. Now you can also subtract these. You could just find the difference here is... 12 36 to 24 is also 12 also 12 also 12 and so what this shows us is that when you have perfect competition price is going to equal marginal revenue okay and we don't have a problem here that uh, that's asking us this the question here but just in case we did let's say the marginal cost was um was uh eight eight well we're going to sell profit maximizing condition says we're going to continue to sell right up until marginal revenue equals marginal cost so we would sell all of those units okay so we would sell all six if the marginal cost is um is eight okay now let's come over here we're gonna do the same calculation and uh 20 times zero is zero 18, 32, I don't know what 14 times, oops, 14 times 3 is 42, it's 48, 50, and that's 48, right? Right on it. Six times eight. Yep, still got it. All right, so now marginal revenue is the same formula. It's the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. So we're just looking at the difference here. Difference here, difference here. And it's divided by the difference here, but those are all one. So this would be 18. This would be 14. This would be 10, 6, 2, and negative 2. So it never makes sense to charge a price of eight. Now, if we use the same uh, marginal cost as eight, we're going to sell up until marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So in that case, we would sell the first one, we would sell the second one, we would sell the third one, and then we would not sell the sixth one. Or sorry, the fourth one, which marginal revenue is six. So it's not the sixth one, it's the fourth unit. Okay, so you can see here uh, marginal revenue 
is not equal price. So they change uh, and you get a downward sloping demand curve in this scenario. And that was how to fill in uh, both of those on a chart.